Welcome back to How to Cake It. It's finally summer, which means it's barbecue season. I like barbecue season because this is when my husband decides to cook more outside, so less for me to clean up inside. <laughs> I have made quite a few cakes on the channel that involve the barbecue. Well, not in the cake, but you know what I'm trying to say. I have caked barbecued foods. So first up, I'm gonna start with the cheeseburger. I feel like a burger is one of the most cooked things on the barbecue, don't you? I think what makes this cake eye-catching is the fact that there's a lot of different textures in the burger and a lot of different techniques that I use to achieve these textures. For the bun, obviously, I carved it, covered it, and painted it, but for me, what gets me on the bun is the seeds, which are the most tedious part of this cake. Like, it can't be a seedless bun. Gum paste, dyed with a little bit of ivory, it's always ivory. And then you just have to pinch off a little piece. Make these seeds like sitting at your dining room table watching TV or listening to a podcast or something. That's what I used to do when I made cakes for a living. Anytime I did this kind of tedious stuff, I'd park myself at my mom's dining room table and watch TV and I'd make those details. The other thing I love about this burger cake is the patties. Of course I could have just shaped cake, covered it. Two things that are wrong with that is the whole thing would be cake and there'd be sort of nothing sturdy ho holding it up. So instead I made a mixture of melted milk and dark chocolate, marshmallows, and chocolate rice crisp cereal. Yes, it was rice crispies. Yes, so then, well we can't say rice. Oh, we can say whatever we want. Yeah. yeah. What you gonna do, Rice What are you gonna cake? do? It's all the other parts of the burger, and what I love about a burger cake is you can dress it however you want, the same way you would dress a burger. So you can make, you know, relish, mustard, ketchup. I made onion, which is a little bit uh, time consuming, but you roll gum paste really thin, paint the top purple, cut out strips, layer them on top of each other, and then bend it and cut it. So it looks like a slice of, you know, like a spiral of onion. I did tomato. I don't think I did pickle, but you can make as many toppings as you want. Maybe you like mushrooms on a burger. I don't know, maybe you're really plain and you just like, ketchup and mustard. I enjoyed making this cake because there's so many different elements. You get to make all the elements separately and then put it together, which is not true of most cake. So it's a lot of fun. And in fact, you could make the lettuce, onion, all that kind of stuff way ahead of time like you do with the uh, sesame seeds. And then at the end, just make the cake that's the bun and the burgers. Oh, and the cheese. I mean, the modeling chocolate cheese is essential. My jaw still hurts from trying to take a bite of it. Oh! <laughs> I can't breathe. Okay, next up on the barbecue is a hot dog. So FYI, you know I didn't eat hot dogs for years. I don't know why, I feel like there was this whole like, like gross out campaign with hot dogs and how they're made. And I didn't eat them for years and now I just don't care. I am making a nice, juicy, beefy hot dog. There's a bun involved. This bun was way more difficult than a hamburger bun because a hamburger bun you could just bake in a round pan and then you know shave it down this I had to bake a square cake and then sort of shape that you know that long bun that kind of has a little bit of a curve looking back on it I do think the bun could have had more wrinkles in it because you know hot dog buns are so soft I think I should have wrinkled it more The coolest thing about this cake is the way that I made the hot dog. I dyed the cake a hot dog color, which is really bizarre. And then instead of trying to carve a long, thin hot dog, I cut circles out of the cake and then built the little cylinders up to form a long hot dog. It's kind of like how you made the banana. banana. Yeah, the carrot, the giant carrot, I did like that. Yeah. So this hot dog is the smallest version of that technique and then I covered it with fondant that I dyed to look like a hot dog and then of course the burn marks. I think this is essential because it's gotta look like it was on the barbecue and unlike a hamburger where the patties are sort of covered by the bun, in a hot dog you see the hot dog. In hindsight, I think I could have physically burnt it. I think I could have used like a metal rod, heated it, 
wore an oven mitt, of course, heated it, and then burned, like almost branded it into the fondant. And then of course it needs toppings just like a burger. So for the onion, I used dried sort of big chips of coconut but I painted green food coloring on one of my strip cutters and I just sort of ran it across one long end of the coconut to make it look like an onion with like its green little veins. Yeah. And then for sauerkraut, which I love sauerkraut, don't talk to me about it. So for that, I used coconut shreds or coconut chips that were thinner and I soaked them in a mixture of water and a little bit of green food coloring, green and yellow, soaked it, let the coconut absorb it. I did like a nice seedy grainy mustard on this hot dog and I do love that. If you're gonna try a cake like this or a burger, anytime you can use a real food and make it look like something else, I highly suggest doing that. It just adds flavor and texture and it's not just fondant on fondant on fondant. I had a blend of sprinkles that were multicolored and I picked out just like the yellow and the reds. Oh, for the seeds. And I put it in, uh, too bad they don't make brown because the seeds in mustard are more brown, but I didn't have that shade. So you didn't one by one paint no, I didn't. I didn't those. one by one paint each sprinkle, but I did dye butter. <laughs> I know, I know, I got lazy. But just like burger, I think this is so much fun. Should I make a new hot dog? Okay guys, wait. If I'm gonna make a new hot dog, what type of hot dog? Is it like a chili cheese dog? What is it? Below. Comment below. Is there a new burger I should make? Oh, should I do like a bacon cheddar yeah. something? Close to I'm starving now. Really now I'm starving. Yeah. And the funniest thing about this video is I refused to bite the hot dog on camera, which is why Chet came in and ate it with me and I cut it in half. Who would cut a hot dog in half, really? No. Okay, for the next barbecue cake, I'm going to make a bold statement. These are beginner cakes. Orhan, fight no, me. No comment. I think they're beginner because, let's face it, chicken wings come in all shapes, right? <laughs> they can look quite weird and knobbly, right? So it's a good time to practice shaping because you can't really get it that wrong, right? You can make either the wings or the drumettes, as I learned in this video. I made them out of vanilla cake, filled them with vanilla buttercream, and then all you have to do is crumb coat it, and when you cover it, you're gonna make like a tan colored fondant. Just uh, a turkey skinator or shelf liner to sort of texture it. And here's the best part. You don't even have to cover it perfectly because wings have like a lot of extra skin and fold. So you're not trying to get a perfect smooth cover. You're just sort of draping it over the cake and letting it crease and fold over itself. That never happens in the world of fondant. So I think you should enjoy this, right? They look disgusting before I turn them into wings. They just look, look like weird alien skin. Now the bones are very important. To make the bone, I made like kind of broken bones. You know how sometimes they're quite broken? But you can make a whole bone. And for this, you're gonna use modeling chocolate, form it into a bone, and then you just wanna cut open the fondant at the top and put the bone in. But you have to remove the bone before you start to brulee the fondant. This is also why this cake is beginner and fun, because you can just use a blowtorch and really just torch the fondant and let it sizzle. Even if you burnt part of it, it would look hot off the grill. Orhan, am I, I convincing you? Yeah, 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 I see your point. See that? Yeah. I got it, I got one. But the best part of these wings is for the sauce, you get to make caramel. <laughs> So I made caramel, I divided it in three different bowls, and then I just colored it. You can color it with like a bit of red, a bit of brown. You can add spices like ginger, cloves, nutmegs, cinnamon. Oh. Just so A, it adds flavor, and B, um, little specks, just like barbecue sauce would have. And chicken wings are messy, so once again, this is a perfect beginner cake, because just make sure your chicken wing is positioned, and then you can pour your caramel or barbecue sauce over top. And even if it pools around it, it doesn't matter. That's how chicken wings look.
What's your choice? I want to know from everyone, what is your choice of these three things on the grill? Is it a hamburger? Is it a hot dog? Is it chicken wings? Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.